Well, I kind of uh, wanted to do a video on here about uh, couplers. Your train comes by this way, and then you go get a cup of coffee. And what happens to find this? The magnetic couplers, uh, I have a little problem with them uh, kind of decoupling when they really shouldn't. So we're going to try to make a fix for that. I put together a short piece of test track here and got the magnetic uncoupler laid in here. And of course one of the problems is is when you get the old slinky motion in the uh, I should be going the other way you know you get the old slinky motion going down the track and it just wants to uncouple so what I experimented with was where the magnetic uh, uncoupler fits in the uh, track where the ties are removed I built myself a little jig to hold my Dremel tool and I could go down and route out this area so far I just took the cork out so by uh, Clearing that area out, placing the magnet down there and bringing the cars back across it, they uh, do not want to uh, uncouple. So now we need to be able to raise that and lower that, uh, say just about an eighth of an inch. And I hope to be able to do that with a servo and a little Arduino, a little code, and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, I have my uh, test board here. So I've notched out uh, the bottom, just taking the cork out. I don't think I have to go any deeper. Uh, the idea is to raise and lower the uh, magnet here. And I hope to do that. This is a quarter inch uh, flat bar, uh, flat strip. Uh, and this is 32 thousandths. I think this is, this is strong enough. My intention once I get done is to glue the magnet onto there. Uh, raise and lower it. Uh, quarter inch uh, tubing which uh, fits just between the ties so to drill a very vertical quarter inch hole and this is 7 seconds tubing. Uh, this will be long enough just to slide uh, in and out of there. Uh, along with a servo mounted underneath to do that and an Arduino board and I've got some code written um, you can actually go in and, and change how the varying the height of what you will have to do so you may have to tweak the program after it's all assembled but we'll see if I the big the big thing will be to make sure nothing gets tilted uh, cocked in there when it's raised or lowered and that actually when you do release the magnet that the magnet will uh, will uh, recess back down into the uh, uh, cork area, uh, foam area just a little bit so we'll get started on this and um, we'll give you an update here shortly okay I've drilled my uh, quarter inch hole in here uh, centered it up uh, from the amount of tracks I had to Pico uh, you remove 11 ties so this was the very center here and uh, we drill down through there. Try to keep everything as vertical as you can. Um, with that, we turn this over here. And over here you can see where we came through there. Okay, I've uh, cut my sleeve, my outer sleeve. I'll say just uh, about an inch and uh, uh, three-eighths on this. Uh, I want it to come within about an eighth of an inch there, but I want to leave some uh, room out here. It's a fairly good fit. Really, it will go. Uh, but once I get that glued in, I'm actually going to use the inner rod to go down through there. And I will use that to make sure that it's perfectly straight up and down until the glue dries. And then I'll pull that out. Okay, for the next... Uh, part here I took a spare piece of wood that I had and uh, notched it out have my little servo 
uh, and we're going to use that to raise and lower hopefully uh, my quarter inch rod I have installed the other piece of tubing in the hole here I uh, used a little bit of Gorilla Glue and so that this will raise and lower through here to, uh, to keep this aligned uh, my plan is to actually cut a slot in here so this will ride and will not be able to turn but it will uh, ride in the uh, arm here as it uh, moves up and down and keep this from turning clockwise or counterclockwise so we'll get started on uh, mounting this okay I've got the servo mounted on the uh, bottom of the board and it does take a little bit to to get things lined up I found that a little larger hole so you can kind of shift this around a little bit I guess my idea would be to uh, to get it there hold it in place and so once you know everything is working I'll probably use some hot glue to, to run around the edge of it uh, on the layout uh, started uh, getting ready to hook the uh, Arduino up to it and a uh, little breadboard here switches so I can do some testing uh, uh, beforehand so we'll uh, start getting ready to uh, to do the program and get the rod uh, and see if we can get this thing to move up and down okay I've got uh, the Arduino uh, hooked up and uh, a sketch the code written for the Arduino and uh, we've got the uh, rod I just kinda cut a notch in it and uh, there you can see it uh, I've tried to adjust it for about a quarter of an inch and you can adjust it all uh, through the program I'll probably explain that to, toward the end uh, kinda show you what uh, parameters to uh, to change so okay uh, need to get the uh, shaft cut to the right length uh, I've got uh, some flat bar uh, brass uh, we're gonna try working with that a little bit and we'll make that work first before we put the magnet on it so uh, we'll go from here got my uh, tubing I made it a little bit longer I figure I can always cut it down uh, and to make it fit don't want to cut it too short and then I had my uh, 32 thousandths quarter inch wide flat stock here of brass and by soldering the two together just make sure you've got a nice flat edge on the tubing uh, set it down I soldered one side used a straight edge made sure it was uh, perfectly straight all the way around and then I soldered the other side so we have that uh, kind of ready to go and that will drop down in uh, here's the magnet I haven't glued it yet but I figure I'll get a few more things done first and I'm just moving it with my hand but I can see when I bring a uh, car across that uh, the coupler does not move so that is dropped down far enough to um, to not affect the coupler if I bring a two cars over it so it looks like we only have to raise that probably a sixteenth three thirty seconds of an inch so we'll do that with the servo okay we've got the uh, magnet uh, attached to the brass plate uh, I just used a real thin film of uh, some silicone adhesive on there I uh, was kind of wondering just to make sure it returns how could I give it a little bit more weight well the inside of the tubing is just about the exact size uh, of a lead pellet 177 will drop down in there very nicely so I dropped uh, about six of them in there and I put a little glue on uh, top of that let it set up so we're actually getting ready to uh, to test this so let's give it a try okay we have the magnet installed uh, between the rails and 
there it's in the up position down take a Take the cars and back and forth. But let's go back and Here is a uh, sample of the code that's posted down below. It's very repetitious. Uh, this is for servo 1. Uh, the listing just down below it is servo 2. The upper number here, uh, the 37 is basically degrees. The bottom number is degrees. So when we push the button, it's going to move up to this position here, at 37 degrees. When we release the button, it's going to be at 50 degrees. Now, depending on where you're, you have your arm set, you have you just have to have to play around with this and just get the setting right. But you'll find that about 12 to 15 degrees will be enough. Okay, to uh, kind of wrap this up, uh, it's been a front project. Uh, if I can get them all installed, like I say, I've got plans for about six of these uh, uncoupler stations around my layout. Uh, it has been ti quite time consuming. Uh, they may go a little bit quicker. Uh, another way to, 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 to look at it, give you another idea, is possibly to build something like this, put this much, but instead of using your Arduino, uh, you could just put a small bill crank underneath there with a wire, a uh, knob, something off to the, to the uh, uh, fascia of your, uh, of your layout, and just by pulling it or pushing it in, uh, you could uh, raise and lower this. Uh, it doesn't take much for that magnet to, uh, to to drop down just a little bit and your coupling as one of the cars is running away here um, uh, to keep them from decoupling. So uh, just some ideas. Um, I'm going to probably continue on with the, uh, with the Arduino uh, but it may go a little quicker and faster uh, you know, if you just make them a manual type uh, type thing. So have a great day. Thank you very much for watching.